یادین اوت الکتاب او یو ہور گیون دی بک آمنو بما نزلنا مصدقا لما معاکم ہیو فیت بلیو ان وٹ وی ہیو سینڈ ڈاؤن اینڈ وچ از کنفرمنگ دیٹ وچ از ود یو تورا من قبل ان نتمس وجوہن بیفور دیٹ ٹائم دیٹ وی آلٹر یور فگرز وی اوبلیٹریٹ یور فگرز فنردہا الاد بارہا اینڈ وی ٹرن یور فیسز ٹوورڈز دی بیکس او لن علاہم اور اینڈ اور وی کرس دیم کما لعنا اصحاب السبت ایز وی ہیڈ کرس دی سبت بریکرز دی ہول سٹوری ہیز کم ان سورت البقرہ آلسو ان بریف اینڈ ایٹ ویل کم ان سورت العراف ان ڈیٹیل ای ٹرائب آف جیوز ہو بروک دی سبت لاؤ اینڈ دے ور میڈ انٹو پگز اینڈ مانکیز دی فگرز ور چینجڈ دیٹ واز دی پنشمنٹ دیٹ کیم ٹو دیم شاہ And he will forgive and pardon the lesser, lesser than that, for whomsoever, for whomsoever he likes. It's not an open license that you can do any other sin. It will be pardoned. No, no, not open license. But Allah gives us the hope that all the other sins can be pardoned and forgiven by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this shirk associating someone declaring someone to be equal to Allah, to be partner to with Allah, in any respect, unpardonable. And whosoever does shirk with Allah, associate partners with Allah, so he has forged a mighty sin. Have you not considered those who think they are very pure? They think we are the chosen people of the Lord. whole of the rest of the mankind they are gentiles they are like cattle they are like animals goems we are human beings alam tara ila alladhina yuzakkuna anfusahum bal allah yuzakki man yasha wala yuzz wala yuzlamuna fatila it is allah who purifies whomsoever he likes that is why we should pray to allah allahumma zakki nafsi fa innaka khairu man zakkaha oh allah purify my soul You are the best who can purify the souls of people. Allah who you are the man yasha. Man yasha can go both ways. Whomsoever Allah likes to purify. And whomsoever himself likes to be purified. Man yasha. Whosoever likes to be purified, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will purify his soul. He will have to do something. Some labor he will have to undertake. But you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises he will use the key. Wala yuz lamuna fatila. And they will not be wronged. No injustice will be done to them. Even equal to what is fatil. There are two views. The husk round the dead stone. Or there is a small thread in the cleft of the dead stone. Very small thing. La yuslamuna fatila. Allah is not going to do any injustice to any person. Even equal to that husk round the dead stone. or equal to that small thread which is in the long cleft of the dead stone unzur kayfa yaftaruna ala allah al kadhib look o nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam how they are forging lies against allah this is forging lies against allah when they said lan tanasana naru illa ayama maduda fire cannot touch us Except only a few days, numbered days. This is a forgery against Allah. Allah has never said so. Unzur kafa yaftaruna ala Allah al-Kazib wa kafa billah isma mubina. And kafa bihi isma usma mubina. This is sufficient to be a very clear sin. If you are forging something and saying something, attributing it to Allah, when Allah has not said so, this is the biggest sin. الم ترى الى الذين اوتوا نصيبا من الكتاب يؤمنون بالجبت والطاغوت have you not considered those who were given a portion of the book 
and they believe in sorcery and they believe in tahut what is tahut tahut is from taha whosoever is in rebellion against allah everybody has to bow before allah has to obey allah has to worship allah anybody any institution which is doing against it contravening is tahut it can be the state the non islamic state an islamic state in which there is the sovereignty of the people while the sovereignty is rests with allah alone sarvari zeba faqat us zat be hamta ko hai hukmara hai ek wohi baaki mutade azri sovereignty belongs to him now if we declare i am sovereign or we are sovereign we are tahut so they are believing in tahut they are making friendship with tahut they are making friendship with sorcerers yumnuna bi chipt wa tahut wa yaquluna lil ladina kafaru and they are saying about those who have rejected the deen of allah from among the mushrikeen the jews used to say these mushriks of makka they are better guided than the, these muslims that was you know the arrogance they are better the idol worshipers they are better kafaru haula ahda min alladina amanu sabila they are more guided on the right path than these people who believe in muhammad and quran ulaika alladina la'anahum allah these are the people whom allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has cursed they had the curse of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already wa man yan'alillahu falan tajid lahu nasira and whom sever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala curses you will not be, will not be able to find any helper for him am lahum naseebun min al mulk have to have they got any share in the sovereignty of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala faiza la yutuna an-nas illa naqira and if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them any share in the authority they will not give to any human being even the least of the things now what is naqir naqira is a very small speck on the back of the date stone now these words are taken from arabic language and you know the arabic language had the vocabulary basic vocabulary from their own environment you know this date tree that was very crucial to them the fruit and everything you know they are their the biggest source of energy for them this this was the date now you have the date and there is the stone in it and there is a very fine you know wrapping round the stone then there is a very small thread in the long cleft of the date the date stone so allah subhanahu wa taala has taken these words to denote something very trivial very minor very small very ignorable so for that is naqir and fatil wala yuzlabuna fatila wala yutun nasa wala yutun nasa naqira they will not give even a speck even a small thing to anybody else they are so miserly if allah subhanahu wa taala gives them the control and this sovereignty they won't give to anybody any other person even a speck am yahsudun an-nas very crucial are they jealous of the people why they were jealous of the muslims why they were deposed from the position they held for 2000 years and that position was given to muslims the direction in prayer was changed from baitul maqdis to baitul lah in makkah a new umma round a new center so they were jealous they were bitter about it am yaqulun an-nas are they jealous of the people ala ma ataahum allah min fadli they are jealous on what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them the muslims from his bounty faqad atayna ala ibrahim alkitaba wal hikmata wa ataynahu mulkan azima we have given the progeny of ibrahim the book the wisdom and very big kingdom now this is very noteworthy ala ibrahim includes the progeny of ismail and the progeny of ishaq and yaqub both are ala ibrahim ismail the grandfather of the quraish the pagan arabs ismail he was son of ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam and these jews these bani israel they were the sons of yaqub who was the grandson of ibrahim through ishaq alayhi salatu was salam 
so this is the progeny allah subhanahu wa taala gave one branch of the progeny of ibrahim the book the hikma for 2000 years now he has given again to the progeny of ibrahim ismail was also the son of ibrahim walaqad atayna ala ibrahim al kitab wal hikmata wa atayna hum mulkan azima this precious thing has not gone out of the progeny of ibrahim it is still the custodians are the progeny of ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam wa mulkan azima very big kingdoms you know the kingdom of of hazrat daud david and solomon the kingdoms which allah gave to the arabs at what time for several hundred years they were the greatest power on the earth starting from khilafat e rashida and ending with the end of the dynasty of banu abbas the arabs they were dominant over the whole you we we say the greater part of the world whole of north of africa the biggest chunk of from asia and you know all these things were under them fa minhum man amana bihi wa minhum man sadda an from among them there are people who have come to believe in it although they were very few abdullah ibn salam radhiyallahu ta'ala an he was a jew very knowledgeable jew he believed in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa minhum man amana bihi there are few from among them who have come to believe wa minhum man sadda an and there are others who have held themselves back from it sadda ya suddo to hold yourself back or to hold someone else also from accepting something it goes both ways wa kafa bi jahannam sa'ira and for them the jahannam this half fire of hell will be sufficient to burn them innal ladina kafaru bi ayatina verily those who deny our ayat refuse to accept them so fa nuslihim nara very soon we shall cast them into the fire kullama nazza junuduhum whenever their skins will be burnt off badalnahum junudan ghairaha we shall give them new skins le yazuku so that they they continue to have the taste of burning now this is a very big scientific fact given over here the sense the only is in the skin in the skin to, to the perception of hotness bitterness all these things will not throughout the body these the skins has the buds the taste buds you know in our mouth and there are the sense endings sensory perception here so if the skin is gone now if you are cutting the other tissues the person is not feeling any pain so if the skin has gone this burning of fire will not be painful to them now so allah subhanahu wa taala will give them new new skins so that this sense of burning this you know this goes on and on and on and continuous kullama nazajat juluduhum badalnahum juludan ghayra ha liyazuqu alasab so that they continue to taste this punishment inna allah kana azizan hakima verily allah subhanahu wa taala is all powerful all authority and all wise total wisdom wal ladina amanu wa amilus salihat in the contrast because the people of the fire were were mentioned now the believers what will be their lot wal ladina amanu wa amilus salihat and those who believe who have the real faith and the proof of their real faith is amilus salihat they go, they do good deeds if there is real faith real iman real conviction your character will be transformed your whole attitude in life will tell that this this person believes in allah this person really believes in muhammad this person really really believes in quran he really believes in the hereafter and resurrection he really believes in the fire of hell and in the paradise so actually your attitude your actions your deeds they show whether you really believe or not وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ سَنُدْخِلُهُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ Very soon we shall make them enter the gardens underneath which rivers will be flowing. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدًا They will abide there forever, forever. لَهُمْ فِيهَا أَزْوَاجٌ مُطَهَّرَةٌ For them there will be pure and clean wives. وَنُدْخِلُهُمْ ذِلَّنْ ذَلِيلًا And we shall make them enter into very thick shades, very cool. and very thick shades barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an al-azim 
ونفعني وياكم بالايات مصدق الحكيم